Hey Gear Report, this is JJ and I'm over here with Mike. We're at the Steyr Arms uh, booth here at the SHOT Show uh, meeting and exhibition uh, uh, 2016. And uh, they already showed us their scout rifle, which is really uh, special and um, very innovative how they include some of the features for the tripod and thing onto the handguards. So this is one of the projects that, products that they're developing. So Mike, go ahead, tell us a little bit about it. and. Uh, We'll go through the safety system again. I think that's a very, very uh, good part of the rifle. Let, let me start about this is the SSG08 M1. Um, basically, this is not a production gun yet. Um, it was designed for a military request. Uh, the original SSG08, um, which this is basically based on, um, was designed by the RKO Cobra Anti Terrorism Unit in Austria. It was designed for those guys um, to their specs, and that's what they used. Um, very lightweight, aluminum chassis, free floated uh, Colt Hammer Forge barrel. Very, very, you know, a lot of free float around that barrel. That barrel can do whatever it needs to do, and it'll never be impeded. So, your accuracy, your repeatability, always going to be there. The, uh, the cool thing is, this guy has, you can see some of the spiraling in the that's actually, that's from the whole hammer forging machine. It spins as it's beating that profile into, into shape. That's kind of, it's one of the trademarks of the Steyr brands. Um, getting back, like we were saying about the, uh, the safety system, you've got a fire, you have a safe, and then you have a locked safe position that actually locks the bolt. Now you can push this down and actually take the, you can have a round in the chamber, gun on safe, and you have an absolutely safe firearm because you've actually locked the firing pin away from, you've knocked it out of adjustment, the firing pin can never come forward. But you push it down whenever you are ready to engage a target, push that down, roll it forward, and you're safe for fire. This rifle also has the two position, now this is a 10 round magazine, but it also has the two position magazine, um, so that basically you can actually load around over the top of the full magazine, or you can cycle and dry fire without, you know, you can have the magazine in there. Um, but it, this one also actually, the, the M1 came in with the uh, an injection port that can close, so you can keep dust and all that other stuff out of here. It actually has a uh, uh, machine uh, portion of the bolt, lightweight, um, and it will actually clear off a lot of the, uh This is a full profile bolt, so basically, and actually, to get this out, with the cheek piece adjusted, fold that guy over, and then the ball comes out. So, and then you've got four locking bars. But, now this can fold up for transport, or, you know, whatever you need to do with it. It's actually got a built-in um, rear bipod that is adjustable. Um, and I've only started messing with this, so bear with me. This comes down, you push this in, and you can actually change your length of pull on the clock. Lock that back up, you can adjust your cheek piece, um, and then again you've got a full length rail system on top, so uh, you can mount your daylight optics, night vision, everything else that you need to mount on the gun. It also has um, rail systems and you can actually put different rail segments on here. Um, Illuminate or, or things that you might want to take them. And if you don't need them, you can take them off. So all you got to do is screw them on, screw them off, um, and these are also available. This guy is going to be um, probably available in, uh, we're hoping 2017, so, but again, we wanted to show it this beautiful green anodizing that's on it. Um, I think it's great. Well, Mike, thank you very much. Gear Report, this is something to check out in the next coming years.